What up? We here. Cutting up podcast. I'm your boy Big B. And I'm Marcus. What it do? What it do? What it do? Something in the water? Hold on, before we even go on, my bad. No, you good. Um, got my man in the building tonight. We can stop through. He's a barbershop owner. Okay. We're going to talk that barbershop talk tonight. Okay. We're going to get to it. You can ask. We're going to ask what up. Yeah. We're going to get to the, some of the techniques on there. That's what's happening. Some of the pet peeves, too. <laughs> pet peeves of the, of the barber world? In the industry. Yeah, 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 okay. okay. Shit. okay. I'm going to speak up for the barber tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real, for real. That's what's up, man. But yeah, tonight is something in the water. The first night, what's up? Man, I, the weather acting like they want to put everybody in the water. But uh, I guess we old because we ain't out there. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah at all. Nah, I think it's safer that way. I too. think tonight ain't the night. <laughs> night. I, I don't think no night. You got a lot of out of towners. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Come on, man. You are out of town. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I'm, I live there. I got an address up. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some of your time might be there. Nah, I doubt it. For real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, you probably right about that. Nah, I actually like the fact that uh, we had something going on out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know there's been a lot of you know, people selling their tickets, I guess. Really? They're not uh, happy with the lineups or whatever. Well, they, why? I think they, once you get out there and you get in the mix, I think it's a change. I think you're in for a little bit of a better well, time than you think. Well, why would they buy tickets and don't like the lineup? Because well, they, they had a lineup. The lineup went out? No, hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how they get They the bought them blind. They bought them blind. Yeah, they bought them blind. Like okay. The last time. You know, oh, which okay. they should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, um, I don't know if I told you or not, but I'm going to be going to the, uh, to the Roots picnic in June. And oh, like that. Yeah. Um, they got a pretty good lineup. I, I looked at yeah, that lineup. Yeah, I'm with that. I was like, damn, man, that's that's crazy that this lineup is better than the one that's gonna be here. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of it got to do with availability too. A lot of these artists are busy, or they've been already doing these festivals. Yeah, I don't know. I heard. Uh, I you know, that's what I want to get to next year, and we gotta get down there, man. Uh, uh, J Cole's. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. I, need, I need to. I, need I had to a lot of clients telling me they, and they they came to me before and they came to me after and they they loved it. Yeah, they loved it. That's I, mean, I saw it on Amazon. Amazon. I'm gonna watch this one on Amazon. Mm. I'm gonna watch it. Well, dream it on the stream for real. Yeah, you, can, yeah. you can stream this one. I didn't know they did. But you better go to Amazon. Damn, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, shit. While we at it, man, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. You here in the building? Hi, I'm Big Mark. I'm uh, part of Barber Zinc. Hey, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Inside of Walmart, 15 locations, working on Puerto Rico. Um, I'm a simple guy, I mean, oh, we inside man, of Walmart, we, we just getting to it. He's a simple, simple, simple guy. Right? <laughs> 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 nah, my inside boy Al, Walmart. man, my boy Al, my boy Al, he, 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 uh, he wanted to expand in Virginia, and I was doing my thing here, so it worked out to where he tapped me in and, and, and offered me ownership, and here I am. Mm. All right, well, shit, before we get into all that, <coughs> what, what age did you start cutting at? I started when I was 14. 14? Yeah, my dad had big hands, bigger mm. hands than me. And I hated the fact that he would grab my head and hold my head the way he did. So I took his clippers and I started. And my mom saw I was pretty good at it. And I started cutting my brothers with his clippers and he got mad. So she bought me mom. Mm-hmm. That was it. You been cutting ever since? Ever since. You was the. Uh, Neighborhood barber. The neighborhood yeah. barber. Yeah. yeah, I was cutting my teachers in high school, shop class. Yeah, I was cutting my teachers. I cut wow. out Mr. Weaver. Shout out to him. So you white guy. Out and took it seriously right out the gate. Yeah, because I was charging like five dollars a head, and I had a lot of people around me who was willing to pay me that that five dollars, and I wasn't really good then, but they, but they still gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I took it pretty serious. I was buying the equipment and making sure I go to the barber shop get a haircut and watch what he doing, mm-hmm. and then go back and. Do that same everything he was doing, mm-hmm. watching what he had, try to get what he got, you know, if I could get it, you know. So, mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to be serious. Uh, that's so how were you in the school, barber school? Honestly, bro, I didn't get to go to barber school till I was 40. Mm. Yeah. Well, I was I late, but I wasn't that late. All right, so <laughs> the reason why is like I was cutting, but I was trying to get money in other ways, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take cutting that serious to, to get money. Story. So I was doing landscaping, doing other jobs, and this, that, and the third. And then um, we moved back here. We were not a bank, so we moved here. And um, my old lady was like, you know, you're not being serious about this. You got you to be serious. And that's when I 
took it serious and I went, went to school like the next week. And I was cutting while I was in school. So this is all here in Virginia? Oh, while I was right here in Virginia Beach. Okay. So this whole journey I've been on right now has been three and a half years. So I went from three and a half years, roughly two years cutting at another man's shop, getting good, learning my craft, learning to be professional, because it was 15 other barbers in that shop. So I had to move in a, in a room full of snakes there. That, you know, mm-hmm. That's basically what it was. So I had to get mine amongst all of them. And once I saw that I was coming in and I kind of was stepping over the people he had been there for a while, mm-hmm. I, I was in the room. This opportunity came up and I jumped on it. So you say snakes, is it really like that in yeah, the barbershop? Yeah, absolutely. Shop? Yeah, absolutely. Head snipes. Straight up. <laughs> but my aim is way better than theirs. <laughs> <laughs> But you do gotta get strategic, or you do gotta, Yeah, you do. You know, you gotta you find do. your lane. You do. So, um, I got with the barbers I saw was doing their thing, and I watched them, and I got with the OG barbers, and I watched them, talk to them. I'm more talk to them than the dudes that, was, that I was in really competition with, because I really looked at it like competition. So, that was the only way I could drive myself to become what I wanted to be. It's like I had to look at them like literally, like they were the enemy. Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's how you approach it. That's exactly how I approach it. When I walked in there, I was like, "All right, I got to get him." So when I got him, I was like, "I got to get, I got to get him." That's because of the environment of the barbershop. Yeah. Or that was just your choice. Both. Because if you live there, <coughs> with all those people in there, they will run you over. You'll get lost. Right. So I had to make myself stand out. You know that's, what I'm saying? So what was the one of the techniques you used to stand out? Being me. My personality, mm-hmm. just getting somebody in the chair and honestly, genuinely to have a conversation with them. And that right there, that got me access to them because they keep coming back. Mm-hmm. That made me get better because I'm seeing what I'm doing wrong mm-hmm. this last time, I won't do it this next time. See so what I'm saying? You ever had an issue where you was close to boxing a, <coughs> a, 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 a customer? Or you... Never, never a customer. Okay. I've never had an issue like that, never with a customer. You know what? It wasn't my customer, uh-huh. but when I first, my first shop in Norfolk, Tidewater Drive, go holler at us, we over there. Inside the wall, my Tidewater Drive. Uh-huh. So uh, we had a guy come in and he wanted a haircut. His son got a haircut. The guy cut his hair. He didn't, he liked it. He liked it before when he left the shop. Uh-huh. He went out in the store, spent mm-hmm. money, came back, said he wanted his money back. He looked at a different mirror. Mm. So that was the first time that I had an issue to where I literally could see everything I worked for walk out the door. Dang. And I had to check myself, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I can't lose this. This is right. this is it. Now, the like, GNB. One of them. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah but this is. I come from that era, don't see? you? Yeah. Where, you know what I mean? A mm-hmm. customer would get up and try to fight you. Why? So you <laughs> jump with their head or. You know, man. man. But I've been blessed enough. So you I have to make sure you have to be on point. Yeah. Right. So you don't want to be that ball with the shot. Like, yeah, so also tried to bust his ass last week. Cause he yeah. said he fucked this shit up. <laughs> yeah. Once you get that MO on, you pretty much dead. You're dead in that shot. You gotta go somewhere else. So that's what. You, even if you get nice, it'll be. Cause they always gonna resort back to you fucked up, old boy. Hey, old boy ain't gonna never come back to you. Used to be nice. So it stops you. That that you don't want that growth. You don't want that. That's crazy. So, but literally that that room, I just had to be me and I. I just done what I done, but COVID, COVID hit. So that was a blessing though. Cause when COVID hit, you know what I mean? It gave us two months. So in two months, I kind of like, just thought about things and put things in motion. Started a barber beauty supply business, stuff like that. Got deeper in the game on other sides of it versus just cutting. Was this before the barber beauty started? This is before Bob So let me go back a little bit. When did Bob, what year does Bob Zink start for you? 26, for me? For a period. Oh, uh, 2016. Okay, so you jumped in when? Two years ago. Okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Can Two you go years. into that a little bit? Like, yeah, you got to play this right there? All right, okay. Absolutely. What is Bob Zink? Bob Zink. That's the barbershop. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, so let's like, go all the way. It started in 2016. The name of the barbershop is Bob Zink. Bob Zink. And it's inside all it's inside of them. Not all of them, but they're working in Well, um, yeah. Them. They are all, all all locations inside of Walmart besides two. Okay. Those are the original two. They weren't inside of Walmart. So then we got the contract to get inside of Walmart. Okay. As long as I'm, I want to make sure I'm following. Um, your guy, 
your homeboy yeah, wanted to bring you on. Yep. Out. He had Barbers Inc. Yep. There. Yep. And so now you brought in the VA. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice and warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, Pennsylvania. But it was in Walmart before it got to Virginia, right? Yes. It was in uh, Walmart in Jersey. Okay. In Jersey. And see, they were in Jersey, and he had a few in Jersey. And then um, he wanted to come down here. And that's when he reached out and you know found me and we linked up. Okay. And we worked it out from there. Okay. So, cause I was like I said, I was doing my thing. And the odd thing about everything was I was gonna leave that shop literally the same time frame when all of this happened. I was gonna leave anyway to do my own thing. Man, perfect time. And, and it did. It is it was great. God's will, I guess, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't gonna leave, so <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell Randy your life. So <laughs> that's that's how it worked out for me. Okay. So um for the first couple months, he just wanted to see what I was gonna do to make sure I could maintain it. Mm -hmm. Cause I had never, you know, had this this kind of right. responsibility or anything like that. And I got literally got people lives in my hands. Like mm -hmm. the way they eat is, is on me. Mm -hmm. So um, did yeah. you do the hiring or did you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so he hired a few and I hired some too. Okay. So people, um, I would run across. So people would reach out to me, and that's how it works. Yeah. So. My bad. What's up? What's up? Since you was talking about the environment of the shop, right. being snakes and all that's the mm -hmm. normal. Is that the same environment you created? Absolutely not. Now I don't I don't mean the one that you're physically in, I'm talking about period. All the way across. Anything okay. I got my hands on got me all the way in it. Like and I make sure that the temperatures stay the same way. The person even to the person I put in charge, um, like my my, my uh, manager Ma out of Tidewater Drive. I watched her from the day one. I watched her, I watched everybody. Cause I knew I wasn't gonna be there every day, all day. So I watched. And um, Amar was like hungry. She was on time. She didn't have excuses. You know what I'm saying? She was like, and then she would come and look, and look at me to see what I'm doing to try to get better. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, she gonna be the one. Mm -hmm. She's 22 years old and she's running a whole entire shop by herself. I don't have to go over there. I don't got to call her or nothing that's because that's the temperature. I set it to where it's like, she yells out across the room, nice cut. B, you been in my shop, you see how I do. Mm -hmm. I, I give all my barbers praise across the room. I let everybody know, you know, do a good job. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of environment I got. That's we have a good time, music be up, TVs be on. So, so question, do you have that chair in the barber shop? So, and what I mean by that is, uh, you, I think you know some people have the, the best guy in the, the the bad guy in the front or the bad guy in the back and all the good people in the front I'm in or the front. you in the front. Cause I'm the one we cutting on stage all day. Mm -hmm. And I cut uh, so many different people, white, black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, it don't matter. Sit in my chair, I'm gonna kill it. Mm -hmm. And that's just the approach I take it. So I'm in the front, people walk by, they see what I'm doing. And they, they want to get to me, but I'm already booked. Mm -hmm. So I just go ahead and feed them to my barber. Gosh. And, um, and it works out. Yeah, I hype them up. You know, right. I, like I said, man, you're going you to get the same thing from him that you're going to get from me. You mm -hmm. know? It may not be the same. But you're going to Oh, it's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not going to be mine. Right. Because, you know, it's B, you tell. We all do our thing differently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's but right. I make sure that everybody eat and um, it's been times I ain't cut nobody all day because I even split my own people to my to my to my to my barbers because mm -hmm. if they not happy, you ain't got nothing. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got nothing. So, How, do they do they give you your flowers for for that? Oh, you absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's good. Oh yeah, That's I don't good. have no problems. You know what I mean? They have issues because you know you, you're amongst people that you know. Right. It's different personalities. Yeah, yeah. So you had those issues, but you know, it's small fives. That's it. That's it. You bring up your praise, yo. I don't care what you say about anything, yo. You, you beat down somebody, they ain't gonna fuck with you. Right. Hit them with some praise. Right. Everybody wanna hear that. Right, right, right. Hit them with some praise. Bring them up. Bring them up. And then when you when they fucking up, it's easier for you to help them out because you know already praise them. Mm -hmm. They know you ain't coming from a fucked up place. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. I don't so, take no any bothers me. <laughs> what you say? I don't take no any bob. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm good. Just to feel the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, ain't no. Uh, because yeah, they gotta fit. They have to. They have to. That's what's up. Yeah, they gotta fit. So, it's how did your man even get the barbershop in Walmart? Where did he get the idea from? And then so to actually execute. He did a little time. He, he did a little time in college. Walmart, I'm sure, was a little. 
Yeah. Good luck in that first. Yeah, it was it was a little something. So he did a little time in college. All right. I called, you know, he was going to wait for a while. Mm -hmm. He came up with the idea while he was there. Okay. He came home, he cut in the other man's shop. He ran across some people that could help him get in the room. And once he got okay. in the room, numbers don't lie. He showed them numbers. And then once he got a few, they saw the numbers and they gave him the key. So now it's like, anytime he hit me up, he's like, do you know these locations? And anyone he shows me in Virginia, literally, because I'm from Virginia, I know this motherfucking state. Mm -hmm. I know, oh, you got been there, I've been around it. He was like, hey, go check it all, you know, what's up? Mm -hmm. But anything in Virginia, he's Bob he the king of it. Oh, nah, God, nah, I'm the king here. Mm -hmm. He the king of, he the king of the whole thing, mm -hmm. but I'm the king here. So, That's and he don't come down here and fuck with me. He don't hardly ever come down here. Never does he come down here. And then when he, when he here, it's not like a, a check on. No, nah, it's like, like, what up, bro? You yeah. need anything? All right, see you later. Let's go eat. What we gonna do with the team? You know what I'm saying? We take everybody out. We take them out to eat. Take them out to do things man, and stuff like that. Man. Yeah, yeah. Franchise. Any plans on turning it into having a school breakfast or bar? Yes. Is that thing? Yes. Yes. I'm. Um, we've been trying to work with another place to do that. He been reluctant. So at this point, we gonna just do our own thing. We should. Absolutely. We're doing it anyway, so yeah. it's yeah. it just makes You're sense. You're trying to be polite. Well, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, so it's you know, it's a respect thing, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because the same place I came from would be the same place we're gonna be involved with, you know, in the stuff. We don't wanna be, you know, disrespectful with it. Well, no, you never wanna be with some kind of business business. Yes, I'm seeing that now. I'm seeing that now. I'm I'm seeing that now. Enough, all respect due to where I came from, you know what I'm saying, the spot where I came from, but I see that business is business, and it's nothing personal at all, bro, it's nothing personal, but if you don't want to grow, you, you got to go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's... And, you, and in your shop, you uh, do all services? All services. Yeah, we do braids, we do locks. Okay. We got old ladies coming in on perm. I mean, you got color, we do it all. There's one thing for sure. Having your shop in Walmart does take over the industry. It does. You know what I mean? It, it does. does kind of, you know. It does. It does put clamps on. Well, if you have your own shop and you have been in a, a outside of a situation like that, it's different. I love, with, I love what y'all do. It's different with having like walk-ins. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you can get walk-ins mm -hmm. and it's not a problem because you, you, you people know you. Mm -hmm. But if you were brand new here mm -hmm. and people walking in, it'd be very few for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have that problem right. from day one when we cut that ribbon it's people already want to know what we're going to do mm -hmm. and usually they stay everybody's going to come to Walmart from the baddest bitch to the ugliest mm -hmm. from the dopest dude to the roughest mm -hmm. homeless everybody in Walmart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you can't lose you can't. I used to think when I first heard that y'all was in the Walmart I was like it's kind of cheap right I thought y'all was gonna go cheap with yep. it, and I was that was the only thing I had as far as a knock because I don't like nobody going cheap. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was because I was looking at it like, okay, if they in the barber, if they in the Walmart, that's probably gonna be like the super cuts of the, mm -hmm. of the industry, mm -hmm. which ain't bad at all. Yeah, but right. I think it's money wise. Yeah. Like, as far as you know, yeah. like they're never gonna probably be able be able to as a barber mm -hmm. ante up on the price. You right. know what I mean? Like you probably can only stay at twenty dollars. Right. You know what oh no. Nah. That's what I thought, but when I heard that you went in like the shop, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, they crushed it. See, Walmart has absolutely nothing to do with once we get the key to that bad boy, they don't, only if anything happens, I, I report, they say that I need some bacon stuff. Outside of that, they don't have nothing to say about the music, they ain't got nothing to say about nothing. I took a whole wall down, you saw, and now nobody said say nothing. You just took it down, took it to the back. They dumped the trash on For real? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you having yours, you stepping out and getting yours and stepping in big like you did. Um, and I know you left a lot of people behind. And you was talking about the industry. Right. Um, did you have support? Yeah. Or did you have? I, had I know some, you had support, but was it? I had some hate and a, I had a whole lot more. More hate was more. I had more love than hate, I'm going to say okay. that. Because where I came from with all those barbers, even though I did what I did, they didn't know I was looking at them like they was targets. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I didn't treat them no differently, but in my mind, I'm seeing this person over here getting this many people in a week. All right, so I get, I need to make two times a day. See what I'm saying? This is my motivation. So did, was you taking techniques or coming up with y'all? Um, no, I watch people. I watch everybody. 
You know what I mean? I watch everybody and I made my own. So, you know, I see a guy with a comb over technique I use or Terry, I got a hot shout out to Terry. He didn't want to show me how to use shears. Mm -hmm. And um, he saw me struggling one day, he pulled me to the side, he showed me the technique to use the shear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I watched, and then I went to like uh, CT, um, to the Barber Expo, and mm -hmm. I went and watched and sat in class for about six hours a day, just sit there and just listen and watch. And um, this, this stuff like that. And then to the class we went to, that's how I met you, you know? Mm -hmm. And we went to a class, you know what I'm saying? I just go to different classes, network. Everybody in that class you ain't fuck with. Somebody you want. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So is that rare for you guys that, like, I know I've seen you here with B and, you know, hey, you should Genuine. do this. Is it rare that you're able to take something from someone? You know what I'm saying? Take advice from someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, maybe you should do it this way. And, and uh, I, we don't bounce it off like that. Mm -hmm. We don't bounce off that. Yeah, it's not done that so, way. So how, how like, is really, this is all really by eye. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes you peep in them and you don't know. Like, you know, yeah. know cause yeah. you know, you have the eye. So, unless they ask you straight up. Right, like, so, but we don't bounce so, those out there. Okay, so like when your man came to you with the shears, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You were able to accept that. Absolutely, you know because I wanted to learn. That's the thing. you. If you want to learn, you're going to say something to somebody about it. You're going to talk to somebody about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to have a conversation about it. It's so going to be you don't get a lot of that, though. That's yeah. what I'm. That's what I was asking. Shop, right? No, you don't. Like they looked at me like I was kind of weird because I was going around to people and I was actually friendly with them. I was talking to them. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm friendly with you. and I'm talking to you because I want to get to know you. One, number two, I want to get to know you to see if I can deal with you anyway. Mm -hmm. Three, I'm watching what you're doing. I'm watching your style, I'm watching your technique, I'm watching how you cut. Mm -hmm. So I'm new to a shop, I don't have any clients, I got time, I'm going to chair, I'm just watching. Cause I would think, you know, the competition in a barbershop, you want to have that, that ante up on, on the next person, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And for him to come over and say, hey, use the shears this way, or, and you was able to say. He was an OG though. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He was OG. Show, and you OG and you been in the game already? You went, you passed that. that yeah, that's yeah, like OG. OG. That's the beginning level. Yeah, because okay. the other okay. people that was, that been there, they laughed at me. They was looking at my cuts and was like, cause I, I can cut, cause uh -huh. you know how you are. You can cut, but when they tell you you get around people that really, really can cut, uh -huh. oh no, you can't cut. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I had to hone my skills. I could cut, I could get through the cut, but I didn't know my finishing. I didn't have my details under control. I, didn't, I couldn't get my lines popping, like, you know what I mean? So I learned all that from them, okay. you know what I mean? And then the OGs showed me that stuff, really. The other cats showed me what not to be. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, they, they showed me what not to be. So what do you feel about the tutorials you see floating around on Instagram or YouTube and how they be leaving shit out? They're not, they're not they're not acting. in the game when you think they're... they're not, a lot of them not acting. Right. They real, no, real. They not because they they not showing you all the way through the cut. Right. They showing you a whole lot of steps, but right. they not showing you all through the cut. So you got a young barber straight in school. He trying to look at YouTube to try to learn how to do this cut, and he gets to a certain point he don't know what to do, right. or she don't know what to do. They leaving out a step or two. Yeah. Right. The, the important menu. stuff. You see how they do the main the video. Yeah. Yeah. They not. They showing you, but they not showing. You. Yeah. They showing right. you they can do it. You may, it look like it's step by step, but it's not. It's not. Mm -hmm. They left out a couple of the key details. Yeah, they they don't show you. So they product. really not giving you knowledge. Yeah. No, because you still have to figure out the last two. Minutes. <coughs> right, right. Yeah. You'll go through so many yeah. techniques before you try, find. If you find, mm -hmm. until that's you take you that class, or until yeah. you take their class, or you know what I'm saying. And well, then, I guess that's. I guess I get that then. If they're trying to well, sell their class. Of course, they're not going to tell you everything because they want you to come to the class. Well, I'm do so my purpose is, what's the purpose of acting like you You give me a tip. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. Tell me yeah. that, you know what I mean? I'm going to show you this, but take this class and I need the tip that you missed. Yeah. Like, don't put it yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what, those tutorials really don't do justice, like, for real. Yeah. A lot, some of them do now, and then, um, then you got a lot of Instagram bubbles that do, I say they paint, they, they real artists, you know what I'm saying? They, they're, everything is just, if you take all that off, it's a horrible cut. So, I was gonna get into that. <laughs> How do you feel about those uh, 
Hey, I ain't mad at nobody for being in the lane. Lane doing right. <coughs> me personally. Do it right, though. I'm going to do it right. You know, I'm going to do it right because when you walk out, either somebody will ask you who cut your hair because they coming or they ain't coming. Mm. I want them coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm already booked all the way. I've got to get to the point now where I'm like, all right, now I'm selected on who I want. I only want the heavy hitters. So I got room now that I can just hit my heavy hitters. Gotcha. Because I worked my way to that point. But in a along the way of me doing me, I'm showing my bobs to do this too. I'm not keeping it under my head. Like, hey, I'm just doing this for me. Now, nah, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Even the ghosts, like, I'm like, block the schedule off. Tell them to block it off for a week. Mm-hmm. Watch what happens. They're going to start blowing you up. And that's what happens. So strategic stuff like that, you know what I mean? You want to put all your people on one day block all these days. They gonna switch around, and next thing you know, you got those days open for new people. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm, I'm thinking about this shit later, not now. In my face, I'm thinking about it now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's why I think I, I, I'm different from a lot of people because I ain't, I'm not satisfied with what's in front of me. I want to see what's over there. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know. You uh, say you're a diverse barber, so what's your favorite cut to do? That uh, number three on the side, she'll cut the top, fade out the back. The regular Wall Street cut, I call it. Mm-hmm. That, that's my favorite. Is that a fro type cut? No, it's actually straight hair. Straight hair cut. What I mean? Straight hair. Straight hair. Oh, oh, okay. Caucasian. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Caucasian. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's my favorite. I've seen that's those probably those my guys. favorite. That's probably my favorite. The rise of you, best too. Huh? They do. That's yeah. why it's one of my favorites. Oh, okay. Like it takes nothing to do. Now that I know how to do it, uh-huh. it takes nothing to do. They pay the best. Literally, they pay the fucking best. And. I can kill it, like, I can make different variations of it. I can make him, I can throw a different little fade on it and do stuff I want to do to it. Mm-hmm. It's going to make him pop. He going to love it. Probably get some pussy out of shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for real, because they can come back telling me, like, hey, man, you cut my hair, I got some pussy. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah see, you know, you know what I'm saying? That like, shit start with us, though. Yeah, do everything, like, and then, but I hate the fact that they be trying to Slow, low ball it. act like we not. We not like that. Well, like, we important yeah, right. like we not important, but all of us in here got some dope <coughs> shoes on our feet, right? All of us got dope shoes on our feet. Here. So I learned that shoes and what they seeing is what's gonna get their attention. I, I you know what? I, shoe part, you are one thousand percent correct. You can have on a a nice, I don't know, yeah. Louis Vuitton outfit. Yeah. And your shoes look like you've been playing kickball in them. See? Your outfit is busted. It's over. But right. if you got on a pair of nice shoes and a bunny outfit, oh, he just threw them on. He just threw that on to go to the store. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shoes, That's the look. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we all wear it. Confidence. Yeah. You ain't got to put nothing on. Confidence. Yeah. yeah. You came in there feeling bad about life. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you leave out feeling like what? New, new man. man. You a new man. <laughs> so your lady don't even want you to leave out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to put the new shoes or nothing. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is you can put the new shit on and I had a haircut and you ain't going to do something like that. Yeah, yeah, it all goes So that's why I said yeah. start with us because you want to lowball us. Nah. Or so, treat us funny. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So right. like, I, we do a lot of senior citizens with being at Walmart. And um, we raised the price from $15 to $17. Now, we show love to senior citizens. 60 years old, you get that. Mm-hmm. You will come in there, even when you got a head full of hair and you want to fade, somebody's going to give you that for $17. They still want a discount. Wow. <laughs> How do you feel about that, my man? No, wow. Not, not, not seriously. So, for real. Do you want to cut them the next time or do you pass them off? I don't. Unless unless it's a vibe for me, because I ain't in the port where I need the money. Unless it's a vibe for me, I, I it's, 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 it's a pass. Because 
It's like you don't even respect me. Like you've done a job, you've yeah. done a lot in your life. You want me to take less off. Yeah, and you want me to like take that off? I owe you something for you to sit in my chair. And yeah, it is. It is. And I, then I got people that's like, when he and my, this is just for me now. When you're 80 years old, and you come in my chair. If you get in my chair and you're 80 years old, I'm cutting you for free. And I got a few people like that that come in there. Uh-huh. I'm gonna cut you for free. I don't give a damn about the money at this point. I want to hear these stories. Mm-hmm. I want to get this knowledge. I want to pick your brain. Mm-hmm. It's something you gonna tell me that it's gonna, you know, I mean, it's gonna yeah. wake something up. So that's what I do with that, you know, for people like you know that that old. But so the ones that want want that discount, that extra discount, you think maybe it is they're in that time where haircuts was like that's what it is because I hear a lot of that, and I'm sure you heard it too. When I was this age, this is how much it was. I didn't want to hear that no more. Yeah, like around COVID. Right. You see how when COVID when it first struck. Mm-hmm. People said, want you to come out, mm-hmm. risk your life. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. This, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you had to pay for that. And see, so I, I went to the appointment and I went up on the price. I didn't cut it all during COVID. I did. Like, I didn't, um, I cut two heads at the whole time during COVID outside of my son. I mm-hmm. only cut two heads. Well, one was uh, he wanted to propose to his old lady, and the other one, he had a job interview. So, other than that, and there were two people that was rocking with me before, so. We did it in the backyard, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what, man? You right. The haircut, it starts with y'all. You yeah. do. See, if you, if and, you, and you know what's funny? It's the total opposite when it comes to the women. You don't want to pay shit for your service. <laughs> but you go and pay for that chick service who you trying to knock. Yeah. You know, you know, and you pay two, three hundred, yeah. just for the hair. We didn't get to the styling part. And, you you know like that. and nowadays, I know they act real funny because they want you to come with your hair washed and all that. Mm-hmm. They're they going to charge you to do all that. Yeah, they do all that. Like some shops, you know what I mean? They really, they, do they all getting that. there. They is. They are. They really so I like are. to see barbers get there, whether they own the shop or right. they cut in somebody's shop. I don't like to see barbershop owners not allow their barbers grow. That's the worst. That's where the cutthroat come in at. That's the worst. See, See, I was fortunate to start in the shop here before I owned it. I ain't had to worry about the cutthroat tactic mm-hmm. through the barbers here because the owner was already like, whoever comes through the door, ask him. Ask him. You know what I'm saying? At that time, two prices were about $10, $15 a cut. Right. He was like, you can run your own little special. Right. I don't care. It could be your own, you know what I mean? Run your check. You do you and yeah. He made it so that it shouldn't be no cut those cuts being right. done, you know what I mean? Well, see, the old, the owner. There's always going to be someone to still find a way. The know? owner of the old shop that I was at, he was he was good with that, too. He didn't want you, he wanted you to, like, have your own brand, have your own logo, you know what I mean? Even though you in this house, you still, yourself, you still, you rent this space, so. I can't hold my own logo and shit. I've been had it. I've had it when I walked in the door. When I started, so, shit, I can get what chairs might have started out for, but the game was as soon as they seen you rising, every time they seen you growing, they grow on with your chair. Your chair yeah. your chair, so they won't never let you live. You know what I'm saying? Off of what you doing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they wanna raise they raise So my man used to man, whatever your price was, you know, he might go up if he had to. You know what I mean? Whether because I'm seeing you I mean, wasn't in your pocket. Mm-hmm. A lot of barbers um, owners, shop owners, I feel like they block. They grow up like they don't want to see their barbers go out and get a barber shop. Yep, they do. They don't because they feel like they're losing their income. Or and they turn into competition or whatever. That's why you don't get a lot of barbers who want to pass down the techniques or the, you know what I'm saying, the tips and shit of the trade. Mm-hmm. And that's the worst thing though, because you're killing it like that though. Because there's somebody that's hungry that you can be helping, that they may help you later on down the road. Cause yeah, keep it one, it is hard to find real good bars. It bro. is, it's very hard. But the weird thing about what I had going on, the same guy Sam that was helping me, OG, they came up with some product and I put it in there on the shelf in the store. And then he got shit in Walmart, you see what I'm saying? Wow. See how that works? Yeah. 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 yeah, see how that works? Oh, I know, I know. I, I tried to pay for a hat, remember? He was like, nah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but now I like to support others though, too. Yeah. I mean, like that. Yeah, no question. question. I like That's to see what we do. Do you follow barbers and not even know? Them? Like I'm talking about locally and just um yeah and not yeah. even even interact with them. Yeah. But you follow and oh, yeah. like their success. Oh yeah, because I'm like that. Oh yeah, I yeah, follow yeah, yeah. barbers. I might know, I might know, not know, or just heard of them. Yeah. Or just came across their page and I see what they doing. I done seen them work in the shop. Now they got them. I, oh, I yeah. like all that. Is it is it a club around here for you guys? <laughs> no. So, so I want to do a lounge. 
Nah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, a union, no, a club, like a barber club, like you know, I'm trying to do stuff like that, but I don't think the industry so is so much like. We love competition. It. Yeah, it's competition, so it's everybody's much calling themselves the best barber, yeah. the number one barber, you know. So it's just you know, I don't got, we got to be people the best. knocking each other for using the dial the way they do. You know what I say? I, mean, you know what I'm I don't got to be the best, but the best better not fuck with. You know That's how me. you know how <laughs> you know how dope it would be if if y'all could get together as a club and you know eat off each other. It would be, and then well, you could get at the barber expo. That's what I was yeah, gonna say. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. take your your, your club the expo. to yeah. the expo, yeah. Yeah. So that's and you expo. get in the. Uh, oh, well, they do that. You mean like the tattoo parlors and shit a little bit? Yeah, yeah, they kind of do that. Yeah, they do. Do y'all have a black one? Yeah, yeah. CT is like this is for everybody. Yeah. Like, yeah, it ain't really. <coughs> oh, yeah, you know, expo is lit. To be real with you, you don't want it just to be black. To be real, you want everybody. Nah, but I just, I just, well, you want everybody. You do want everybody, but. Sometimes you just want to fuck with your people. I'm going to tell you why you don't want to just fuck with your own people. Because it's your own people that's low you. What you mean? No, like, uh, see, yeah, see, that's what I was about say, to say. You can keep, say, say, for instance, even if you got your price, say, if you do cut short, um, your price is short, $20, $25. Uh-huh. I guarantee you, you, you going to pay me $20, $25, but that Wall Street haircut is going to give me $40. No, and, no. They, and I'm charging them the same price. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, no, 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 no. I was talking about <coughs> club wives. I'm talking about club wives. But not cutting, not cutting. No, 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 no. But still, you really want going to the expo as a club? Yeah, going to the expo as a club. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, but I'm saying, I mean, like, you know, man, shop, but see, you know, right, see the, the thing about that is that's the club. A lot so of it's people. everybody individually shot. Yeah. Like, so it'll be us. Oh, team, okay. Bro. So, yeah, but. Shot. It'll be, be Supreme. Yeah. Ball is in. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, that's gotcha. How it is. Okay, yeah, okay. That's how okay. It's okay. not one club. I guess I'm. I guess I'm thinking I'm, about, like, I'm all that like, unified. Yeah, come together, together from the. It's hard to do that. It's hard to do that. Because we're all pushing for a different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for instance. It's real hard. He jumped in on a franchise. Uh huh. I'm not into doing a franchise anymore. At the moment, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not pass up on it, but like certain people have different visions for their shot. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So, see, I mean, so it's kind of hard to just put it all in one basket. I'm like, you're a country boy. I ain't had shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to see how far this thing can go. I'm mm-hmm. doing all this. From, I'm going to tell you what got it started for me, for real, for real, when I went to CT the first time. What is CT? Um, Connecticut Barber Expo. Okay. It's uh, out of the Bohemian Sun in Connecticut. Okay. So we go there. Me and my homeboy leave here and we drive up there. All right? One of the first things I seen as we were walking in the hallway, you see a whole group of barbers come past you and every last one of them jokers got more ice in the refrigerator. Mm. So I'm like, fuck. <clears throat> we walk in this room, big ass ballroom. You got jokers, you looking around, you got jokers around you that's really getting it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this one cutting ass. Not putting this somebody else shot. I'm like, this is from cutting hell. So I right, saw so all the people you see on Instagram, you KD Duncans and people like that, they get up there, they talk. But if you see them out in the hallway, they talk to you like we talking right now. You see what I'm saying? They just, you know, regular jokes, you know what I'm saying? He, KD showed me how to hold my damn mask the right way. So I just learned and, and, and it's like, you know what? I see all of this. I can do this. I'm, I'm witty enough. I know I can do this. So I was gonna, like I said, do this on my own. This God's will, bro. Like, I was locked up. I was cutting the whole time I was locked up. Keep them, getting my skills together. Everything I did up until this moment prepared me for where I'm at right now, bro. That's real. All right. Um, so you say you, you cut hair, you was going away to college. That was, yeah, I was going to college. Yeah, what, 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 what brought you there? I was uh, riding my motorcycle over 200 miles an hour running from the police. God so, damn. Yeah, I ran from, um, Two hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh, man, I, had, I literally just got it out of the shop. I can imagine doing two hundred. Shout out to PL for putting me there with Pablo for getting my bike right. I had it good for three days before I fucked up. What does two hundred feel like? It felt like oh, to be real. I know what hundred feels. Like. Right, so hundred and ten to be exact. The lines in the road. There's no way I can do it. You know, the lines are skip. Yeah. Everything was solid. I know. Um. Mm-hmm. No I saw the damn near the honey. I seen I'm two proud. ten. It was funny to say it's it funny how this shit. How did you even see the time? I mean, like, right, so this, is how wait. this is how I wait. When um I was leaving from out of a place called Wakefield, Wakefield area on four sixty, coming back this way. And um I I've been riding my bike for a long time, so I've been, you know, I am a rider. 
So I see the cop coming, and I'm I'm leaving out away from the light, but I'm probably at this point probably going about 65 and a 45. So he throws his light, and I see him in, in my mirror, and I say in my mind, not today. <laughs> and so I drop two gears, and I hook the tank, and I just go and get it. So when I looked up, I was like 180, and I reach my throttle back a little bit more, and I'm looking at the road, and it's like, like everything's just a zoom, like every, I'm just, I'm, I'm down behind the shield with my head like this. So, <laughs> and I look down, I'm like, just take my eyes, when I look down, I see 210. But I kept going, cause I'm on a straightaway, cause I'm like, I'm gonna say, you know, fuck. And at that time, my mental won't where I'm at right now. So, um, yeah, I kept going and end up, going into the next town and a car kind of pulled out in front of me. I came up, I came away from 210 by then. I was still at over 100 miles an hour. I come into this town, this car is pulling out and I veer to the left. I go back behind the store to this other back road. Now I can get off of this road, get on another road I don't even know. And I ride the hell out of this road. I've already lost this cop, but I'm already chumped up with adrenaline. And I'm riding this motherfucker right now. And I, and I look over my shoulder and when I look back, I'm going too fast. I'm on the curve already. Oh, and I hit a fucking tree. Oh my goodness. So I get airlifted. It's funny as hell to fucking, it's funny now, but I remember the cop gave me a sternum rub. And I'm laying there and I'm looking up. And I see blue skies, right? I see the skies is blue. I feel my toes, both of both feet. I feel my fingers. I said, oh my, right. black guy. When I woke up again, I'm in a helicopter. Now I know I'm in a helicopter because everybody around me got helmet and all this shit. I'm in this motherfucker laid up and shaking like this. They're like, hey, buddy, you're going to be fine, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking around, looking around. Black out again. When I woke back up again, I'm in the hospital. And my old lady right there with my baby girl. When I wake up and I look over, I'm like, damn, what y'all doing here? Like, that's how I wake up. And she crying and pissed off. And then, like, a few minutes later, my dad walk in the room. He a cop. Sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just getting better. It gets better. <laughs> yeah, he's the sheriff. How old were you? I was thirty-two. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. I was thirty-two. He walks in. He looks at me. He's like, "You alright?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm good." He turned around. He walked away. He ain't talked to me for six months. Mm. He ain't said a word to me for six months. Six months to the hate mm. before he decided he had something to say. Mm. Cause he was like, "Man, what you do?" That? You know, come on, man. Like, you got kids, you got kids, you know what I mean? Come on, man. And that was just kind of what, like, we changed my it life. It was some nut ass shit. It was some nut ass shit. 200 miles. Over 200 miles. Over 200 miles. Now, but it gave me time to sit down. It's like, I got locked up. And my dad could have literally got me out of that shit. Mm -hmm. But I ain't say shit to him about it. I was like, you know what? I got I to gotta ride this. This is me. So I did the time, came home. But the whole time I was away, I was cutting hell. Old times cutting it. How, how long were you out there? Gave me a year. Okay. Gave me a year. Yeah. That was a long year? The yeah. longest year of your man King. Every holiday was good, but Father's Day, dog. That Father's Day would be big, crying like a bitch all day. I'm just hurt, you know what I mean? I can't be around my kids. That's my day. Like, my birthday was cool, Christmas. I had my family bring food to me, all that shit. I was good, but that goes. I came home. So, how, so how, how often um, did you cut while you were in? Every weekend. Was it the weekend? How Every many days weekend. you you think it was? Cool? I had one. Said one part of the jail. The first while I was in the jail in Sussex, I had the first one side one weekend. The next weekend I had the other side. Did you have any rivalries in there? Far as because I know. Oh, it's, it's, I know. As far as cutting, yeah. No, because the dude who I was. One of the guys who was uh, heavy in there, who, who was uh, one of the sheriffs, uh -huh. he knew I cut. Okay. Because he been knew, he knew, he, he, I cut some people he knew back in the day. So okay. He knew I cut. So he, when he first saw me, he was like, hey, you can be my boss. Okay. Oh, so that's how they, okay. And he was like, he knew I cut. So he was, right. he was like, hey, you can be my boss. So okay. I just did, did that. Uh, did that help you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I got a chance to learn how to know how to deal with people. You, you can cut it in five minutes, bitch, you can do anything. <laughs> First of all, you ain't got the two, and then you in there, they bring you three or four dudes in there at a time. And you cut them. 
you run in a barbershop right. in a sale in a, in a sale block, right. and they couldn't pay me because right. they ain't had to pay me with. But right. I was like doing floors and shit. So when I slide through there, all the barber coming through, they be like, "Here you go, bro. Here you go, bro. I'm on that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I was just doing it. And then they got me transferred to another spot. And that shit was pretty dope because they had cash in there mm. every weekend. So they had money. Mm. They could get like $50 a week. But it's like a work camp. So they leave and go out. And then I could go out too. But I just couldn't leave the premises. I could just be out on the premises and shit. You know what I'm saying? So they had cash. So every weekend, they in that motherfucking gambling and shit. And I'm trying to think of myself. I'm like, damn, I need to get money. How am I going to get money? You know what I'm saying? It is dawned on me. Who fucking bothered so I took every weekend that fucking lunch room, they knew not to come in there, that's mine. So I'd be outside during the day, in the evening time when I get in, okay. I got my old lady to send me clippers. It's crazy, bro. Shout out to the people who gave me these contacts because I got my old lady to send me my clippers. She sent them to me, my iPod and some old shit. The, the jail let the shit in. And I got popping after that. <laughs> so when I walked out that bitch when my daddy came and got me when I came out January 21st, I had three grand in my pocket. That's outside of me sending my kids money for, for birthdays and shit like that and cards and you know shit like that. I had three grand in my pocket from five and ten dollar cuts. You say that's where you owned your skill? That's why I got yes sir. That's where it, it and then when I came home, the house that I had in North Carolina had a pantry off to the side, but it had a door. I made that a barbershop. So I'm cutting people that I work with. I'm cutting neighborhood people. I'm running it like a business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This shit just kept going. I didn't have a license though. Didn't have a license. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I got here, I had access to getting a license. It was fucking eight minutes away. Eight minutes kept you from being the best you could be. So I went over there, $50 a week. Went in that class two days a week, two hours out of the day, did my thing. Cut when I finished there, paid him his money at the end of the week, and shit, a year later, I was free and clear. Passed the test, I'm great. <laughs> so you trying to take over everybody's shit? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why they don't pass shit on. Yeah. See, but the thing about it is, um, I can't be in all of them at one time, so you have room to grow. Mm -hmm. Every barber has room to grow. And as long as it's Walmart out here, I'm gonna put something in. If it's possible, mm -hmm. it's going. So you have an opportunity to own and run your own. You have, you know, you know what I mean, you have that opportunity in this this company. It's, it's dead serious. It's like I'm a living fucking witness of that. So right now you're in Virginia Beach, Walmart, and so and look. So we need to talk because you need to come out my way and put it put one in in, in that Walmart, man. Well out of Chesapeake. Alright, so I get a list, like I said, they shoot a list yeah. of the ones that's, that's available. Well they used to you and if you jump someone, on it, yeah. I'll come check it out. Yeah. I definitely come check it out. Yeah. They, what, do you mean, I think, what what do you mean? Like, because um, Smart Styles was in there. Um, they had a contract with Walmart. And oh, so y'all, like, so they still have some of the other Walmart? Yeah, they still have some of them. Some okay. of them still have, uh, gotcha. you know, Smart Styles on them. And so once they contract it up, they're like, yo, buy we got one. Or it more than like, kind of like, you know, kind of like in boom mode. you do all what they do with then some. So oh, right. we're doing then some. But yeah. I, I don't know what their numbers are, but they can't see what we they did. From what, from what I'm hearing from the people that I'm hearing it from, we are definitely blowing them out of the world. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because it's busy every day. It's Walmart. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's old people you're cutting all day, you're going to make some money. Right. Because Walmart sells the what because your shop is. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Think about uh, quite a few guys that don't even shop at Walmart, but once they leave out of their chair, this is what they say. Because go back to the point of beat making. The confidence, how they feel. Uh -huh. I got to walk around the Walmart. <laughs> so now they walk around the Walmart, they walk back past you, they got a bag in their hand. Or they walk out and get a basket, they come out with a basket full of shit. Mm. You tell me Walmart, we ain't helping y'all out. <laughs> Bullshit. Because yeah. we doing it. Like, 
I'm seeing it from my own eyes, you know what I'm saying? And then all the shops in Jersey, oh my gosh, they already known. He's known up there. So <coughs> him, when he when he started the shops, people knew and like they jumped. Like those shops are known to crazy, because I mean it's in Jersey. Pennsylvania, you in those urban areas. <laughs> and it's so convenient. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure a lot of husbands don't mind oh, yeah. going grocery shopping for their for their wife because it's a one shot. They don't mind. Yeah, because you ain't gotta they go get mind. a haircut and then yeah, ride you go 20 shop, minutes. Just go, you go shop, I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or I'm getting the oil change. Let me go get a haircut while I'm getting the oil, oil change. change. Yeah. Um bro, I, I hear it all the time. Like they, they just come in and you know, they come in or they just stop. We got TVs, we got sports and stuff on there. Just come in and look at the TV. They may not get a haircut that day, but they catch the back. They coming back. Mm -hmm. They coming back. We speak to everybody. I tell everybody we can Chick fil A a bar, baby. Yeah. We used to with that, that customer service. Everybody love that vibe. You know what I'm saying? And you got to like it. You mean, we walk in, we having fun. You hear us laughing through the whole store. Mm -hmm. So, who wouldn't want to be a part of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, you trust the community through the barbershop. Yeah. Norfolk, like, we was giving away when we first got there. We was, like, looking out. A whole lot of kids in there have good haircuts. We give a quality haircut, so there ain't no bullshit coming right. out of the shop. Nothing. No, we give out quality, you know, and you're having a good time. Then you got the one over here. We got a bunch of Caucasian kids that ain't never had fade. Their mom was in the scene of these pictures and stuff and wanted the kids to look like this. Mm -hmm. They see me cutting somebody else's hair. Can you do my son? Like, yeah, absolutely. She's used to going to those super cut like time. and getting that cut. And if she's seeing her son look completely different than she's ever looked in his life, he loves how he looks. Mm -hmm. She loves it. She's been paying them sixty, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she don't mind giving that up. Yeah, she don't mind. Okay. Here you go. When can I make an appointment again? That's how I go. You show up, you do your thing, you gonna get paid. You can do it in Jordan's, laughing and joking. If you're a single man, there's plenty of women walking in Walmart. If you're a single woman, there's plenty of men walking in Walmart. It's whatever, you know what I'm saying? You can you can have a ball at work every day. Every day. I do. Yes, <laughs> like I, I said, you do it. In Walmart. We have fun, man. We, you got a ball. When we came in that lab, when you was in that last time, like it was just we was just in that lab, just laughing, joking, just spending. I'm cutting this hair, and we just talking. Just you see what you want to see, you, you know. It's fun. Every day I walk in that bitch and I'm smiling, bro, because I ain't going to work. Yeah, it ain't work. work. It ain't work. It stopped being work years ago. It ain't work, dog. Yeah. That is fun. It's just fun, man. Fun. Yeah. The hardest thing I do is put on. Something like work to me. See honest. what I'm saying? Yeah, it, 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 it ain't. Uh, it's work when I'm getting the shot, you know, remodeled or something. That's, that's work. work. But the actual work I'm putting in, even the long hours. It's not work. At the end of the day, it's long hours, but right. I don't. It's not work. Yeah, it's not that's work. Because you're doing something you want to do. Oh, right? That's God. the only thing I can explain. Yeah. It's not work. It's really not work. And I try to get barbers to understand that. Well, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do that. But look, if you take time and put, put, put some effort into what you're doing, People think that money's supposed to walk and get in your chair all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta go out and talk to people. Right. People don't know what you do, you gotta let them know what you do. Tell them. They might be looking for a bar. Mm -hmm. Just that, hey, I'm a bar, blah, 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 here's my car. Do you find um, using you as the crutch to um, get them clientele at your shop? What's that? Using you. Yeah. They don't go out enough to get their own? Some do, some don't. The hungry ones will, the ones that really want to, you know, they see what you're doing and understand it, they'll do it. The ones, some of us, they just going to sit in the chair and they phone, they wait for a walk in. They don't fade out. They always do. They always do because they're not making the money they need to make. When they do, do they blame you? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. No, they don't. Yeah. yeah, that's how it go. Yeah. It's your fault. Yeah, it's your fault. All the customers. It's your fault. You doing this. Not understanding that the people that's in my chair are not new people. These people that I've been had with me since I've been building this, so. They followed me at every shop that I have had to cut in. So what you're seeing is this something I've already done. I'm just being consistent at this point. Mm -hmm. You have to get them and then start being consistent. Then you will have busy book days. Why, why do they feel that 
they supposed to just walk in and you supposed to feed them like because you own the shop. Yep. Yeah, but it you own you. I look at a barber when they like. I look at it like this, like yeah, you're. It's like you rent the building. That's how I look at it because mm -hmm. you pretty much your own boss on your booth. You I, know what I'm saying? That mindset everybody has. I'm my own boss. I'm my own boss. That's why they can tell you what you can do. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> not realizing that they're not really the they're boss. They're not really the boss. Right. Well, I guess I would look at it. Yeah, different. you might be paying for that chair. See, we don't do booth rent. We do, we do commission. Uh -huh. Oh, you do? So, yeah, it's commission. Yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do commission. No, because commission is a way different game. I see booth rent and I see commission. I see growth in booth rent, which is none. It's uh -huh. flat rate. Uh huh. But the growth for who in booth rent? You or the shop? For the shop. It's flat rate. Like, really, you you gonna you gonna get to a ceiling for them and that's it. Cause you can't milk them with so much. But then they gonna they gonna find other places to go. So commission is what? Um percentage of what they made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's happy. Cause you're gonna see some money off a of percentage. See, I have a different yeah, see I think differently on that. See, I don't like playing the commission game because I feel like I gotta watch you. No. And I steal the money. Well, so with us. Because you gotta be at the shop. Because if you ain't at the shop, that don't necessarily mean they're gonna write that ticket or shit. You well, true. 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 But that's why you got birds in the sky. And then you got. I mean, you gotta you have up, a, too a much. manager. You be your man. But you gotta have a manager that understands where we all trying to go. And then that's another thing. Getting everybody to understand that if you do that, you're cheating yourself. You gotta get everybody to understand that we all pulling this load, we can go a whole lot further. The people can act like they understand it. But until, until they show up with some shit one month and they need that money and you ain't around hey, and the manager ain't paying attention. Hey. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, we gonna take a loss then. But on, on, on in the overall bigger picture, we not. So uh, you can add a little bit, that's cool. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Do you consider your barbershop like a small business barbershop, or do you consider it a retail business? Small business barbershop. Okay. Yeah. Because it sounds like you guys kind of operate like retail, like like sales and retail. You know, the percentages, far. having a manager in place. When it comes to oh, the barber. You know, in, well, yeah. like I'm saying, like the operation of the shop. Not not necessarily like what, what you, you always got to have, like you said, eyes. So you yeah, you got to have somebody own. there because you can't, you're not going to be there all the time. Yeah. That's the point totally of being exactly. where you are. Oh, man. To have somebody in place to where you don't have to be there. Is that manager cutting too? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Makes sense. Absolutely. Makes sense. They just get a different percentage than everybody else because okay. they have more responsibility. Okay. They're watching. And it's told and, cool. and they, they look out, you know what I'm saying? They look out. They're not they not um the two that I have so far, solid as hell. When you got an older one, I got a younger one and I got the best of both worlds on that end. You know what I'm saying? Hope it's still keep going for you like that. Oh yeah, 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 bro. It's hard to find. I'm pushing trustworthy. It is. It is. It's hard to find trusty people, but it's, like I said, you know, you you give them, you educate them on how to win, and they ain't gonna try to cheat you. And then you got an opportunity to win. Like they see that they have it. It's not like you just cutting and cutting and cutting and don't think you can get nowhere. Mm -hmm. Nah, you can. We moving money up for you every time. Like the more you make, we moving it up. So you making more. Yeah, we get more too, but you're making way more. But look at what we're providing. That's a whole Walmart shop inside of a whole region. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if it's snowing, whatever. That motherfucker's open. They in there. Somebody want a haircut. Can I ask what the percentage is up? Depends on first starting out, usually like 60, 40. And then it adjusts after like 90 days. You see what they got going on. You see they really trying to get it. We'll adjust it five percent down uh, up to where they to where they get more. Okay, okay. sixty five. So sixty five. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And then once you you there, then it's the, it goes like that. Uh -huh. And then you get to a certain point. We're not going. I mean, you are you built clientele. Then uh -huh. you know you gonna get about this much. You you gonna get a little bit more here and there. Uh -huh. So it, it'll be about. So it's like it's like getting a raise. Mm -hmm. It's like getting a raise. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but you in control of it though. Right, 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 yeah, right. You literally ain't control it. Right. And you ain't your control. The, the more money you bring in, the better your raise is gonna be. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Dope. And of course, I mean, why would you if you're in a room and you not don't have value, why you need to be in that room? So 
make this set of value, you're gonna stay in the room. And now it's getting to the point people wanna, they start to understand them like, oh, they, they serious now. They start to see. Now they're seeing this like, like one of the ladies said the other day, it's some really nice cuts coming out of here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and, that's a, and that gets y'all um, <coughs> more people because now the, the Walmart cashiers, they seeing people coming out of that. Now they telling they, Absolutely. Sisters and brothers and all them. I, I went to the cashiers and gave them a stack of little flyers for us to put into the bags. Mm. And you know, when they do it, they don't mind doing it. Come back, holler at me. I got your lunch. I'm going over here to get some pizza from the spot. I grab some pizza, bring it back. I bring pizza. You know I'm a pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I bring pizza back and I look out for them and they're like, I try to touch bases with all the shop owners and stuff around in the area and try to build a relationship with them because we all on the same level. I'm walking here, I'm spending money in your establishment, I'm bringing joy, I'm bringing my good energy. What you got for me? I don't want this food, what else you got for me? <laughs> you know, and I try to do, you know, try to do stuff, try to build stuff like that. So uh, Brooklyn Pizza, my pizza guy, he, uh, me and him like this. A little plug. Yeah. Shout out Mel Man, man yo. Shout out Brooklyn <laughs> Pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he got good ass food, so we got a good relationship. So we gonna we gonna be doing some things later. Mm -hmm. You know. It's, it's all about building, bro. That's what's happening. Yeah, I'm business minded, man. And then like I said, I wanna see how far this can go. Mm -hmm. You know, we see some very wealthy people out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's some very wealthy people out here, but you don't know they're wealthy. They, they're fucking rich as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to be one of those. What's your pet peeves in the barber with the current man? With the client? As far as client? Or, yeah, let's start there. Client being late. Mm. First. Second. Don't tell me how to do my job. Mm -hmm. Third. Watch your fucking hell, man. Y'all watch your fucking hell, man. God damn. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, other than that, I'm literally not, cause I can kinda, I can, I can get on some dry shampoo and get yeah, yeah, like that. Sure. But other than that, I kinda like, you know, I can deal with everything. What about the phones or? Now the phones, after a while, I talk to you enough, you ain't gonna fuck with that. I make sure you don't, you don't even fuck with your phone, because I'm talking. So, I don't know why. Is it is it the young ones that's doing it, or Five. phone, why they in the, in the chair? Some people just answer their phone and don't even give you a warning that they're going to do it and you cut cutting it. That's, yeah. that's what I was asking. Yeah. Like, they literally like their phone when they just, yeah. I mean, they got a razor. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah, you see, serious? Boy, what? See, I, I don't. I can't say I that. mean, you know, so uh, I'm those that ain't been in your chair for a while. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, my yeah. question is, are these young guys, are these man, it could be any, it could be kind of any though. So it our age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. All right, but you got people our age. I think it's probably more our age. Yeah, you know, I was about to say it's people our age is kind of got the the worst habits because they always want to hold their head. Man, I can't stand that hold their head. And, and I'm like, yeah, they or grown ass when you don't know how to hold your head up yet. Or they move into the clipper. They leaning into the clipper. So or they moving their face or something into the I, whatever, you know what I mean? You telling me. Or some little ass twitch every time you come to like, it's like, yo, you good? I'm good, go ahead. Like, no, you ain't every time I touch it, you twitch it. So oh, our man. age, yeah, it's more our right. age group yeah, our age group. is yeah, acting up in the chair. Yeah, they like were. they never I mean, age. Like you rather like when the when the kids do it, you expect that kid right. to do it. Right. So when the parents are like, well for me, when the parents are like, ah, you know, trying to explain why they doing it, and I'm like, you ain't got to explain their kids. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You need to explain why you do it. Why your right. husband did it. Right. Why, why your husband doing it. Yeah, why the husband doing it. And that's what that's what I'm saying. Like you know they've been getting a the haircut for at least forty years. Hey. <laughs> but they been getting the barber's been dealing with it for forty years. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, but I got to add this. I will add this. Let me put this number one on my list. Let me reverse. Let me put it number one. Because you, you hit me with something. Bad ass screaming kids. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Because some of the kids probably had a bad experience or something. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm cool with that. But I'm not cool with your mama or your dad sitting here I'm watching me struggle with right, your right. kids. Absolutely. So this is what I do. When you get there, you see that call, hey, dad, son, hey. And I say, look, I'm going to treat him just like I do my own. He'll be okay. And when I nick your son and hit him with that damn 90% alcohol, and he scream out. That's my retribution for everything I just went through. Because then they don't tip. Uh, they don't even tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even tip. But you know what else? Now, that's the number one. So, since we on that topic, that's they a piece of mind. Not the tipper. Those kids that act like that, yeah. they want you to do the style cuts on them. Yes! The mohawks, the, yeah. fit, the design. They want the, the design. You know what I'm saying? And this kid don't even want to sit there for anything. So what I ask them say, when, you know when the kid walks They don't want to tip you, bro. And they that's the hardest cut of the day. The so hardest. If you ever feel like you at work, that's when that's you work. That's when you work. That's when you're working. That, that's and you don't need compensated. Get your, get your rag out because you're going to get some sweat. You don't get compensated. You're going to sweat. Yeah, you got to go through cap, capes. You might be like with a sweat. That was, I, I like to say that's one thing. People I, might get high. Oh, yeah, definitely. I hope that I taught my, my boys. I got two boys. And, um, you know, before it was, um, you know, um, now how you cash out or use an app or whatever, you know, you had to give the money to the bottom. And I always try to make sure when they got their hair cut. That's gone. That, hey, That's out here. I take this to the bottom and, and I'm not tell them that. You can't do that yet. Really? It's been gone because of the, so because of the cash apps and all that. Right. No, ain't no kids doing that for no, real. Bro, no, it's, no, it's, I ain't seen that in a minute. It's not. <coughs> They, yeah, those, that's the number. those kids and stuff like like dealing with stuff like that. That's that makes a hard day. But I don't have I don't have all that. <laughs> that yeah, we're doing it. We're teaching out here. Because you know, not for nothing, I mean yeah. you said the key word, you teach it. Yeah. Right. Majority of the time, the mother dropped the kid off or they're in here with the kid. They're not teaching that. They don't nah. even know how the kid fighting fighting them. Yeah. And see, and then but you got the fathers that sitting in there and watching this. Yeah, ain't no way. That is like Bro, that's annoying. Bro, like it, it really that's makes so you, annoying. and then you wanna you wanna check him as a man. You really mm -hmm. wanna check him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You wanna check him, but you gotta be professional. Well, how about you, gotta be, you know? You say you put the claw on or whatever. Well, how about the like if you don't even mention like you communicate, you say because I know sometimes you ain't always communicate. So you just you mm -hmm. know you just trying to get in the groove. You zone out. You do it. They try to check you. Yeah. About yeah. the claw. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Like, what did you do to my child? Why is he crying? You know why the fuck he crying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? He was crying when he came through the door. Yeah. Like, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Those be the types. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, it's, 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 this, this, man. You know, you try to keep it cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because one, Cause you, you really don't want to hurt the child. Or not Number one, probably, yeah. You know, he probably has been scolded, you know, scarred yeah. either by the dad or another mm -hmm. mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then you got them on your top, like, one, like, they're trying to tell you how to do your job. And then questioning you at the same time. Right. 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 He's not helping me no kind of way. No kind and of you way. hovering is making the baby. They don't understand. You think that's help. It, no, you sit down. them nervous. Yeah, sit down. And then, mm -hmm. I, that's anxiety. If they can't sit in my chair. They feel like I'm the doctor now. I'm not cutting. If they can't sit in the chair by themselves, I'm not going to cut them. You're not gonna hold him and I'm gonna try right, to right. I've only I do that with one instance because he's a little little boy. Right, right, right. right and his dad right. cut his hair while I was cutting his dad's hair. Uh -huh. But I got him to do that in uh -huh. order for me to cut his hair. Mm. So I was like, look, man, look. I said, oh here, here's some clippers. What we're we gonna do with it? We'll put two on it. I said, cool, you start getting them used to it, I'm gonna cut your hair. See, I gotta do I do that when I have a group of four of my clients. See, stuff like that. Off the head no more. I'm done with that. See, I ain't gonna sit here about it. That's it, but see I got it. I'm in a different game than he is. Chick fil A and Barbara. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm living that shit. I ain't just saying it, I'm living it. You know? <laughs> this is Chick fil A and Barbara. Dude. Like, we we giving you that service. Uh -huh. We want to come back. You want to come back. You know what I mean? So it's to the point now where they, they don't even come and get a haircut. They come out and they speak. Mm -hmm. like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you, how you day going? You know? It's, it's fresh. It's, yeah, it's blessings, man. It's blessings. So, you know. But, you, you got them kids, you got, you know, that's probably the worst, my worst number one, like that, the, the father, not even the mom, but it's more so the father was saying, hey, he won't say a damn thing. Like, that was, who raised you, bruh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, who the fuck raised you? Yeah, that's real. Like, like, who, who, who did it? What's your favorite trauma? Equipment. Trauma. <sighs> right now. Trauma of choice. Can I go to Babylon's, man? Clipper too? No. This What's is your favorite clipper? I already know what you want to say. Um, 
Sing is the No, I'm just saying. Yeah, oh, you just saying. Now I mean, my, now my my singing is they nice, they just loud, but my singing yeah, is loud. I don't give a fuck what you throw with that. It's gonna it's gonna knock it out. You know what I'm saying? You can detail. Do you like the Babylon Clipper? Nah. Me I don't like it at all. The what clipper? The Babylon Clipper. Am I saying that right? Babylon is Babylon. Babylon is Babylon. Is that brand or that's a type? It's the brand. It's the oh, brand. Yeah, yeah, it's the brand. The, the trimmer is awesome, but the clipper is shitty. Sorry, Babylon, but it's shitty. <laughs> I'm and I use and I use the shit yeah, and I bought some. Yeah, I use too. They not it. They not it. Um, How you so, feel about the products that they put out now? The all around. Um, like when it comes to the blade, you notice that when you buy a new box, you got to sharpen your blade. I mean, I know we all want our blade to hit different, but they don't come like they used to. Well, when I, and I say used to mean. Yeah, so far down the road I feel like mean. they're using so many different materials and stuff now, and the stuff that they're using to try to. Be more inexpensive to them, but better than us. I'm thinking more so because you see the the blades you get are way thinner than they used mm-hmm. to be. Wait, I'm, they cracking. Yeah, chipping more yeah, they chipping more than like oh, um, you know. So I run know. through equipment. Do you find yourself running through equipment? I don't, bro. The last few years, right before COVID. I mean, I can take you to my garage. I can show you all the equipment in the world. I need to repurpose this shit. I run through, but I run through all my shit. Either it's just, like I said, that's why I ask, how do you feel about the product? Because sometimes my shit don't even last a year. I run through novelty shit. Like, like I've uh, never been able to enjoy um, a wall, the wall's detail, mm-hmm. trim it. Mm-hmm. Every single pair I bought, I promise you broke within six months. A Stop detail. Like, I promise you. So I got, a, I got so something. I've never been able to say yeah. I got some month. secondhand from somebody. From one of my barbers, he, he sold them to me. And them shit's died. I had them there about six months. I, I hear people say that. I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> so, know. what's your favorite right now? Your favorite trim? Cordless handy. My hand's too big for them, I feel like. GTX, buddy. Mm-hmm. You, you said your hand's too big? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, they don't feel comfortable for me. So, and you, so that's why you use the Babylon? Yeah. The Babylon is cool. But you had to go through too many blades to find that right one, didn't you? I, I mean, nah, I just said it. And when it came out the box, I just said it. I, I got so it set out. I, I stick with the originals, man. Okay. I'm okay. angry. So I like 76s, too. Yeah. I like yeah, the yeah. blade. Yeah. I like the 76s. You know what I'm saying? I like the seams. What's the 76? What's your, what so is the blade? Seven? So old school. So before all these clippers came out in my day, when you had to, you know, if you could you cover see, them blades, yeah, the seven you six. The so the seven like six. You knew how to trick them blades, and what I mean by that, the blades cut like really just. It's a detachable. Yeah, the detachable. Man, I love the detachable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, it's a detachable. But yeah. if you, they feel better. It really, just but people don't really yeah. use them once they're yes. loud, and you really can't play with them. But you can't. But mm-hmm. but they're harder to play with. Like with the uh, adjustables, mm-hmm. you know, you can play with. The blade is the blade. Mm-hmm. You gotta know how to hold the blade, mm-hmm. you know, like angle the blade mm-hmm. to the cut. The way you want it to yeah, cut. Yeah, like what to do with that adjustable cut. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, people don't like even because they big and loud. I like them, it's a clean cut. Yeah. Depending on the type of texture head too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because some hair doesn't cut well. Because it can cut time down. Yeah. So, how long will it take you to cut? Fade, I can knock one out in 25 minutes. Do you even try to be fast though? Anymore? At this point, Anymore? it's more just it's, it's, repetition. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just going at it. I slow down when I, I, I tell, tell you this. It depends on how my day is going to go. If I got a stacked ass day, I'm going to go. I'm strategic with what I'm doing. But if it's kind of like a last day, I got one every hour or something. Practice technique. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing different shit. You know what I'm saying? I do that more now, too. Yeah, I'm doing different I'm doing shit. Doing but back, back in the day, I think I can knock out like four cuts. An hour. So in an hour, yeah. I'm going about three. Um, you know, I got, I'm good at three in an hour at this point. Three strong, but yeah, four three strong. Because what I'm saying, is them four ain't straight like style cut. At least one of them is gonna be a regular. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say I can fit that four. In. And if it's kids, like I got a couple of groups of kids that I cut, like a family member, shit. Like I got one, one, two, three, four, four boys that come in at one time, hour and a half. I did all four boys, and I might do the brother. His the older brother one that brought. I might just throw him in the chair just because he brought. Him. That's the type of shit I do. I cut all them boys. He brings them. He young. He young cat. You know what I'm saying? He got his own little life and shit. He go get his brother, bring him, get a haircut. Mm-hmm. All right, I mean, come on, I got you up. I throw him in the chair, do him for free. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so, hey. 
So I say I can do, you know, my time is better now, of course, because the equipment is better. Mm -hmm. That's what another thing, the motors in them damn clippers are strong as fuck. So you can have a small ass clipper, but the motor just is super strong. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely blaze through a cat. You know. If you got a, uh, oh, I'm on, I will say this, um, the instincts, stylecraft instincts, trim. I don't know about that one. You should put it in your repertoire. Or either that or the Sabres. Stylecraft Sabres. I don't even know about this brand, period. Do that. Please do. Yeah, I would. I have Please do. Please I do. Because they're, I think they're more like, they're like a gamma. That's like a break off of the gamma. I do like gamma. All right, so some me too. Some I have uh, some Ergos. Yeah. I and they're, they're really good too. I like yeah, those. I got Get a, a vapor blade and put on it. I don't have that. Put the vapor blade on it. Uh, <laughs> you got yeah, I appreciate blade. that. Yes, uh, I have never used a ceramic blade. Yeah, yeah. I got a ceramic yeah. blade. I ain't, that's, Some of my barbers use them, they say they don't make a difference. So I used it on the trimmer before, and actually, it actually cut. Cleaner? No, it actually cut them. Oh, for real? Oh, like I thought it didn't you, know, I, you can't set it. Well, I guess you ain't supposed to set it <laughs> the way, you know, I be trying to set the blade. You know how you set the blade, so I ain't like it for the trimmers. And then, uh, but the clipper, I mean, yeah, I mean, it cut. I mean, but I don't know if it cut any cleaner. i be honest, I ain't really feel no difference with this. I just felt like I was just buying the blade. I never, 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 I don't knock it. I just nah. don't think I need it. I take that one minute modifier and I might hit my trim up. Yeah, that's like hit that jank with it and then. But I prep the skin and I prep everything so well. I, you know, my trim ups, they do a very good job at what they do. And then, you know, I'm, most of the time I don't even need to raise it. Mm -hmm. And you ain't all right. cut up and whipped up either. You know what right, I mean? Right, so, right. Yeah, but those uh, style crap instincts, you you put them in your mix, bro. Your man, exactly. he, he got some. Yeah, I'm them, bro. Yeah, they, they just said, they right. You gotta settle. It's gonna take you a while to settle, bro. So check it out. Loyalty over love or love over loyalty? Ah, oh, yeah. I heard this shit a hundred million times. Mm. I guess it depends on the situation, for real. What's up? Depends on the situation. Yeah, I mean, it ain't wrong either way. Yeah, yeah, right. so it's just, know, it's I guess it depends thing. on the situation. For me. Because you might be in a situation where you need to love and then might be a situation you need to love. So, if I had to choose one of the two that I had to ride with, yeah. give me the loyalty. Because eventually you're going to love me. <laughs> eventually you're going to love me. So just how I look at that is, um, I'm a loyalty over love type person. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like if you're loyal, you know, you know, the love and everything is already intact. Mm -hmm. And if you're loyal, you ain't got to worry about being mm -hmm. stabbed in the back or hurt into it. Love or hurt. I mean, where do you get your hurt from? Mm -hmm. Your loved ones. Yeah. Well, I'm from the love. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to pain out of love. I trust only when I got love. I trust don't my but one person. True. And uh, that's my mother. And so, that's it. As long as you got that, even one day you know you're gonna lose her, so you know. I know I'm you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna lose that love. Outside of that, I'm cool. I got my kids. If my woman decides tomorrow she don't wanna be with me, that's cool. Sun will rise the next day. Another bitch will be here two weeks later. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna make it two weeks. Alright. <laughs> so check this out man. Five million dollars or five minutes with Jesus. Mm. You just saying. Give, me, you just give me the bills because I'm going to see Jesus in the middle after a while. <laughs> and we will see, I'm going to have my time to chill with him. Give me the bills. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, give me the bills because I'm, I'm going to have my time. You, you watch Snowfall. I do. All right. You watch Power. I kind of put the last episode off because I didn't want it to be over. <laughs> but I watched. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch Power. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Who's the worst? Louie or Tasha? Tasha? Why Tasha? Because she was throwing that puss on her back. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, if the drop was smashing, Tasha ain't shit, cuz. Tasha, yeah, she might have been around when it comes to getting in that bread. 
But man, what? Did Louis do that? Louis did it for the movement of what they had going on. Mm -hmm. It was a conversation. Louis ain't true. I'm just saying, if she was to do something, it would be a conversation. And matter of fact, she was They did have a situation. She oh, was with the pimp. Pimp. With the pimp. The lady did the, the pimp first. Yeah, yeah, the beginning. Yeah, yeah, she pimped. She, well, I guess you had to like dig in deep because they didn't really put it out there. But the pimp and her, was, they had a thing going on. Yeah, they had a thing going on. Oh, yeah, Jerome knew about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he, yeah. he, yeah, he knew it was a problem. Oh, okay, okay. But, he got that. but Damn, Mom, he, got that. he, um, he ended up sending her, yeah. telling he needed, she needed to fix nah, it. Tasha still works to me too. Duh, yeah, Tasha. <laughs> she was scandalous with it. Yeah, Duh, yeah, yeah. Tasha. Like, no type of, she won't feel the remorse. Yo, me, I was sitting, we, me and wife be sitting there watching that shit. I'm like, yo, Tasha just throw that puss on anybody. Yo, they threw her out like she was a hoe for real. For yeah. Me. Hey, man. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. That's why I asked me that one. I got one. You got one? You already know. Okay, my bad. The 96 draft class of the NBA or the 2003 draft class? Who is these people? All right, 96 was, who's that? Kobe. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, I want to say Allen Iverson. Oh, well, we um, done then. Mm -hmm. You see my cape, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you saw my cape, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well. Uh, nah, I ain't seen it. Well, I have a, a cape. Uh-huh. Oh, it's an AI? So uh, you buy it from that one. Yeah, uh, yeah. AI. Yeah. Nah, hit the lineup though. Hit the lineup. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me get the lineup because you you get, you gotta put by being biased to the side. You gotta put to the side. Not really, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, if you can. Um, you said Kobe and AI. I mean, who else we gotta talk about? But well, it's LeBron. Yeah, it's LeBron's class. Yeah, LeBron class. Yeah. Okay, well, LeBron. Hold on, hold on. Is it D-Way there? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, Melo. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. We just start with them three. Fuck right. it. All right, well. Well, Who was the third in the, um, Kevin Garnett? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Ray Allen, they had Ray Allen. Go All right, ahead. so here they go. 96 draft class. AI, Steve Nash, Ray Allen, Kobe Bryant, and Paja Stop. So y'all can be. Yep, him. So, and then you got Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Okay, so you got the 03, Dwayne Wade. Hall of Fame. Carmelo Anthony. Hall of Fame. LeBron James. Yes. He gonna get there. LeBron James, Chris Bosh, David West. All right. That fucked it up. All right. That fucked it up. David West, though. We can just do top three of them. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the whole three. body of work. <laughs> it's the whole body of work. But, but, the whole body. Hold on. But I, I, I must say, um, four out of the five top, um, they have championships and only two out of the five have championships for the 96. I still go with Well, I, well, I won't talk. I won't put with that. You ain't say accolades, so I won't know that. I was going with the 96. I'm going 96 all day. Because none of the players on the outside of what, LeBron and Wade, and Wade. What, are going to even see that anybody else on the other line. Yeah. Career-wise. Yeah, whatever. because Carmelo didn't do the right situations, and I had Melo in there, but I mean, he's still Chris Paul is still, is, is still reaching. So, yeah, respect to Chris Paul, he's still reaching though. Yeah, so we just gonna leave Dave West off there. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that make it ugly. That goes to tell you what the lineup is. <laughs> you said David West. Like, music, you musically inclined, I'm sure. I'm not sure. women, you like women, so Beyonce or Rihanna. Yeah. That's another situation on thing. Um, you can't go wrong. Right? You, you, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pick. So He's your pick. I'm feeling like. God damn. Yeah. The verses with them would be tough. Nah, no, we ain't talking about verses. I'm just, just saying in my back. We just talking to Beyonce and Rihanna. Um, Beyonce, she got some, she got some cold ass that I really, really, they rock. So yeah, Beyonce. What else you got? Give me some more. 
Yeah. <laughs> MJ, LBJ. MJ. LBJ. Yeah, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. What I got on my feet, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I fuck with man LeBron is to be did his thing. Hey. Respect to the king because he did his thing. But MJ literally changed the game. Like, so I mean that's just my argument. I check this out. You can only choose one. Why don't you? Alright? Right. So. But you have to pick between these three to see them in their prime live. One time. Alright? Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson. Prince. He won the choice. So you say you're the Michael fan. We had this question in, in that shop all in my shop all the time. It's a lot of people who would you rather listen to? Michael Jordan, I mean Michael Jackson or oh, Prince. Uh -huh. And I hear a lot more Prince and Mike be real with you. That's I can see, I can see why. But to answer your question, to if I could see one in person, mm -hmm. it would have to be Mike Tyson. Why is that? Because I don't think seeing it on TV really gave it justice to what he really was the the man slash animal that he really was. Like I would really want to see that. To hear how, like, you could hear punches. Like, you could hear him on TV, but what could you really hear if he was in person? Like, you probably feel that hit. You know what I'm saying? I want to see that. Like, Mike, he did his thing. Shit, I, I, I've been to a lot of basketball games, football games, and shit. It's loud, it's crowded, I don't like all that shit. But a boxing match, yeah. I'd be inclined to be, like, sitting there, like, yo, that shit be tough. So, everybody else would be, man, they cool, but. <laughs> Tyson, dog. Jay-Z or Nas? Jay? Jay? Jay-Z. Alright, all that talk was good. <laughs> now let's get to it. Uh, we barbers. We barbers. You see a lot of single women? Mama's coming in. I do. A lot. You know, you seem like you're a charitable guy. I'm very sure. <laughs> All right, so what we doing? We knocking on mama's down? Nope. Hmm? Bad business. So you do, so you're not a barber that knocked the, um, so you so you try to keep the good name going, huh? Yeah, I do, because it's bad for business. Uh, real talk. I don't want to find out how to believe. You had, had a situation. A situation. Okay. That's what I'm about to say. So back it up. Yeah. I know you had that lady one time. I had a situation where, you know, <coughs> it, it ain't get that far, but it could have got that far. And um, she was real, uh, she felt like she could come in the shop and she like, she was the queen, you know, she, like, she was the queen. So when that situation came about, I said, yeah, check myself on that type of shit. Like, yeah, I, this is bad for business, you know? So I kind of, I talk some shit, but I ain't, I ain't going no further than that. So. You know, it's true what they say though about how the women be trying to oh. get to us and now that's just trying to be the whole Oh the yeah, they oh yeah. I've had women one white woman came to me and said, I ain't never been with a black man and I said to her, Well you want today. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I told her yeah, not today. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. Wow. And then they see me, and we big guys. Women love big guys. Fuck what you heard. Big dudes is always in, uh, and they always looking for us. So, I'm turning away. How many of the moms are asking you to be some type of uh, influence or something on that All show? of them. Like, how many companies are like, what are you talking for about? The most, job, or? most of them. He ain't doing that. Most of them. I got a sweeper that uh, come every weekend. And his mother calls me every week asking me to talk to her son about this, that, and that, you know what I mean? So I get mothers all the time asking to uh That's he, the first time yeah, right there though. Yeah, and then once you get through to the kid, because the kid look forward to coming see you, and she starts to like it. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Like, oh, see, you ain't even trying. Right. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You just giving the service and you being good to the kid. And next thing you know, she want to return the service. Oh, yeah, you getting pussy pictures and shit like that. And Wait, wait, wait. This is funny. <laughs> How many times, man? Let me ask you this. How many times have you been cutting they, huh, they man and they and they try to reach out to you? Oh, oh no. quite a few. Have you ever, you know? Nah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, quite a few. Yeah. You know, like, like. The situations where either the man and the woman come in on the regular, or it'd be like the kid too, and uh, they all uh, come. Uh, uh, and then uh, there's some time where the man is gone, so the woman the woman comes with the son. Oh, uh, guess what? She's trying to communicate. So, with this being a Navy town, gentlemen, if you in the Navy and your woman is coming, bringing the kids to the shop, and she loves coming to the shop, it's a fucking reason why she's loving coming to the shop. So this how we had, we had this chick that used to come in the shop, right? She would come with her son and her man. Uh -huh. Quiet, act like she all. Innocent, yeah. He's gone. We ain't here talking like we talking here. Uh -huh. Music, cussing, whatever, whatever. She's in on it. Oh. She's going in the conversation. She's listening to where whoever's talking about where they going that weekend. You know what I'm saying? All like, in. She's all in. Mm -hmm. Every time. See? Every time. Bro. It's... They had a nerve now, and this is the crazy shit. <clears throat> been coming here for years. I'm talking about for so long, even when I wasn't the owner. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the owner, you know what I mean? Same vibe is going on. She start coming in here, you know, I be having music play. You know, sometimes it'd be the, mm -hmm. like I say, biggest. I'm going to be honest, it seemed like every time she came in, it was always, you know, I got to play this. Uh -huh. For whatever reason, the most of the time she came in, a little Ken song was on. You know what I'm saying? And she going all the way. And she telling me to check it back. And I would look at her, and then I would take everything in me not to light her up. Like, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you put on this front. You was look. that. Yeah, like, when he ain't here, you listening to this. You talking about you got the album, and yeah, you and I, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. You see some of the craziest wow. shit, man. Oh, I've had. Whether you fucking them or not. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've had women bring me food. You see the other men drop them off. Oh. Oh, absolutely. Nah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Oh yeah, Drop yeah. the kids off sometimes. Oh yeah, that's when they get like, oh shit. Oh yeah, like, nah. Oh yeah, but well, maybe they like one thing about yeah. the barbershop cut, just like them salons, just like the women talk and say, you know, you hear, yeah, right? bro, same thing. It's at the that same thing shop, shop, bro. Shop, bro. They slip up there too. Yeah, they, they slip do. Up. They slip. Damn. They slip. And then you got the dudes that be bringing these side chicks and everything to the shop. Then you bring the wife and the kids to the shop. Mm hmm. Wait, what? I was going to reverse it, too. Yeah, it was the same thing. You got the dude coming uh -huh. in with the side chick. Then another time you come in, you got the wife and kids. And you got to sit there and be... And you got to be... Cutting quiet as a motherfucker. And it's so you like, don't fuck up. <coughs> bro, bro, you... Let's go even you further, bro. You, I got some pastors that I cut. Let me tell y'all, bro. Ah, oh, shit. Dog. <laughs> I got passes that I take. And these jokers, bruh, oh my gosh. That's all I'm saying. Like, yeah, there's no black for I guess. No, nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. You get oh, what you oh, it's, 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 uh, yeah. No, it's what are like, you talking about? I'm just, I'm just like, how you, how you, how you guiding people? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, for real, how you guiding me? Where you guiding them to? Who you <laughs> with? Real talk. Real talk. Now, you know, and, and where you bro, got them to. And then with us being bothers, they're comfortable with talking to us about anything and everything. After you let that, when they let that guard down, they comfortable with you. Mm -hmm. You got to raise them to them. You, you know what I mean? You making him, making him be, be the person he is when he walk out that door. Mm -hmm. So, boom. Same with the women. You get the women in the chair, they flirting with you the whole time. You cut their head, they flirting with you. Cause they didn't touch by a man. <laughs> They got vibration on their body. They like the man. Don't be smelling good. I stopped wearing cologne, bro. It was a problem, man. That's crazy. It was a problem, bro. And then I don't think I'm an attractive guy. I like for real. I'm looking at myself like, oh, I'm, I'm fine. But I got a lot of women telling me I'm fine. <laughs> so goddamn it, I'm fine. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Except for shit. Yeah. So, so like that's. That's like I have a friend and he does uh he's a uh, what you call it a massage massage, massage therapist. therapist 
Yeah. He, he fucking too. And he said, <laughs> he said they come through there wild. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about the barbershop. The barbershop, bro. That's crazy. Once again, man, shout out to the um, barbershop and the whole shebang. Tell them how you taking over the goddamn Hampton Road. Barbers Inc. We inside of Walmart. Follow Barbers Inc. VA. Check us out. King Collective underscore King Collective. You see me personally. Um, we out here, man. We just doing our thing. Respect to everybody. Respect to all the, all the other barbershops. Respect to you guys. Appreciate y'all having me on there. Praise the show. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it, it's all love. Because mm-hmm. since day one, it was all love. Absolutely. When I met this guy, we, we was in, a, in the class before we shut this thing down. We was in the class. He was like, yeah, I've been wanting to talk to you anyway. He said that to me. So I'm like, shit, I'm on top of you. Because mm-hmm. I've been driving past this motherfucker for a long time. <laughs> and I saw it, the logo he had. And I'm like, damn, I've seen that. Where did I see it? And when he said where he was at, he dawned on me. Damn, I did want to talk to him. So, boom, it worked out well. Mm-hmm. So, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Know, bro. Thank you. But he introduced me to a bunch of other dope ass dudes, which I don't meet a whole lot of genuine motherfuckers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wants something or got a whole lot of ulterior motives. So, shout out to y'all because y'all solid as fuck. For sure. Y'all you know, really appreciate that. Yeah, y'all doing big things. That's all. <laughs> <the problem. laughs> nah, um, I wanted to uh, get flowers. Coming from another thank over to another because I don't think there's a lot out there. So thank I wanted to put it out there. Thank I like thank what you're doing. I mean, I, I admire what you're doing. Yeah, we doing it. And you're killing it. And, uh, yeah, you are taking it. over. Appreciate so I advise it. other barbers to up their game up. Don't just think cutting hair. There's other avenues to go down. Absolutely. Because you see a barbershop up the block opening. You ain't got to always look at it like this competition. No. You got like they trying to help you grow too. Go in there and talk to them. See what kind of, if, if you can get game, if you can, if you can, if you can't, you see you can't, don't go back in there again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No big deal. Mm-hmm. Good on up, but don't stop. Mm-hmm. Actually, look at it as inspiration. Absolutely. You see another ball can grow, that means you can grow too. Yeah. Right. If he's here, you can be somewhere else. Absolutely. So I definitely agree with that. I know not get one of my bottles going to leave tomorrow. I got you. What would you need? So. And if you open up next door, that's cool. Mm-hmm. You next door. You're not here. I ain't tripping. <laughs> yeah, I ain't tripping. Yeah, yeah, so they forced me to add another service to my game. <laughs> <laughs> to stay in the game. Yeah. Now, that's you solidified, though, bro. I you appreciate did. you coming out, man, to the show. Yeah, for sure. And I appreciate the connection. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. No doubt. Many more going to come, hopefully. I'm going to make some business later. Yeah, you know we're going to do something. Yeah, for sure. Um, once again, appreciate y'all tuning in. Like, subs- subscribe, comment. Like, subscribe, comment. Leave a comment. Watch the whole goddamn show, please. And um, go check out our merch at besupreme.com. Right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Merch.com. Oh, oh be I said, I said, nah, I don't even know. <laughs> Come check us out at besuprememerch.com. Go pick up something fresh. Dope little shirt, little hat, a barbecue apron. Shit, it's all on me. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. Peace.